Hey, how's it in the name of Christ? How you doing? It's your girl, Crent K. <clears throat> it's Garabo. I hope you're good. I hope you're peachy. I hope you're stiller. Stella. And I hope you're in a neat little bunch. If you're not, welcome to the party. That's just the story of my life. Uh, today's the 9th of May 2024, but it's actually the 8th because I've hopped over into the new day. It's the wee hours of the morning, as usual. I do prefer them because there's no distractions, less and sometimes no at all. Uh, let me just put some caveats out there. Kindly look out for my captions. They're not always accurate. They sometimes use a small G for God. They are sometimes misspelled, uh, wrong word altogether, or something. Uh, one day, God willing, I will adjust them, or maybe there won't be a need to. And then I'm very potentially wearing application makeup. If I am, you will know. If I'm not, you'll also know. If it bounces off my face, fret not, it's an app. And then I have a segment that I just want to really get through quickly where I pinch my cheeks to basically bring a blush I'm only human after all, I'm only human after all, I'm only human after all, blah 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 yeah, to display that when you prick me, I bleed, when you slap me, I go ouch, etc yeah, it's getting boring but I keep doing it because I am dealing with a lot of insensitivity and empathy is like a real problem in these streets, okay, so let us just get straight into it today, oh goodness, just like yesterday was a terrible, oh, sorry, it was a terrible day but it it was improved by exercise, but even in my exercise, I was severely um, afflicted. But herein lies the situation uh, at the moment, okay? Like, guys, there is a lot of spiritual wickedness around, and, you know, I, I keep going to and from with, with God about where this is gonna end, and when certain things happen, okay, so every time I start talking here, I get hot. Like, the electric blanket starts to, like, bother me. I don't know why. Maybe I'm gesturing a little bit more. But anyway, whatever. Anyway, yeah, I keep asking like the same question, this world, what's gonna happen, you know, <sighs> what's gonna happen, like, there have been terrible times in history before and people have recovered out of them and, uh, you know, I'm not really sure if this is gonna be one of them, but I don't want to be one of those people that are focusing on nothing but the rapture, I'm just not doing it, I, I just, I will not do it. Like, even in my neighborhood, there's, like, an increase in crime. Like, in my complex over the past two to three weeks, there's been a couple of robberies. Something that just, you know, does not quite happen around here a lot. It's, it's like people are going crazy. And I've been doing videos speaking about how it is that all of this witchcraft, all this stuff, you have to understand there are ramifications to actions. You can't just pop open a hole in the cosmic, at, in the cosmic atmosphere and bring in entities and not expect people to literally lose their minds like the whole country is falling apart but it's not just my country it is the world at large now i am i'm beleaguered okay on all sides and i don't know whether i'm coming or going but one thing is certain i have very little care at present for what happens to witches to my enemies to people who keep afflicting me like literally ain't nobody got time for this Nobody has time. So uh, I, I got an, a word of knowledge or something. I don't even know what you want to call it. The, <sighs> the diabolical beast from America. Feeling all upset that I want nothing to do with him. Like I just heard him saying she's supposed to be dead anyway. And for me it's like okay whatever. But that, that thing that's going on over there is literally happening across the world. And I, I just I don't know why we are still here in all frankness like all right where shall i commence with this discussion y'all ish you know the past couple of days the lord has been letting me know in just welling it up in my spirit <gasps> little by little like just incrementally that there are so many people reaching his servants for jesus that are not saved not never mind not saved of course that is happening but they they're actively fighting against the body of christ and and my thing is what is the point and also why don't you just fix it then you know like when when okay this is what i'm trying to explain to you i'm getting to a point so in matthew 24 it is written that the deception of the last days is going to be so exquisite that if it was possible even the elect of god would be deceived it's also written in god's word that you will know true disciples by their fruit by their lifestyles basically they will bear the fruit of the holy spirit and i spoke about that in yesterday's video okay but from what the lord is showing me there is going to be a last days professing christian conglomerate that are so convincing and so believed that unless the rapture happened unless something just 
cataclysmic happened no one would ever know until they die oh, pretty much until no never, never mind not, not even until they die until uh what is this until the great white throne judgment because even at their death at their funerals pastors would be talking genuinely unbeknownst to themselves about them as saints who have gone home to be with the lord but these people will have been involved in particular in sorcery in particular in witchcraft all right how, how else can i state this what will have driven these men and women to sorcery will have been exactly what is hurting me the beleaguerment of my person by occult people to block me at every turn from doing what i need to do from thriving from basically making disciples of all nations at my leisure and instead of just waiting on god to see how this unfolds waiting on god taking persecution in your stride waiting for the lord to deliver you they then capitulated to sorcery so these are men and women that walked in doctrinal veracity and for and they studied in all the right places the bible they never were swung to and from by every wind of doctrine so they never belonged to obviously heretical segments of christianity like health wealth and prosperity etc they they never ever duped anyone with the false belief that they're christian while people could easily identify a lack of fruit in them they were they hard to identify guys because they started out somewhat okay trying to do this christian thing and then they fell away secretly they fell away secretly they did not fall away in broad daylight in a way that we all can see so they continued to be followed by a christian conglomerate a christian audience when i was washing dishes in the kitchen the lord said these were the words that i heard by the holy spirit verbatim they're reaching millions for me but i don't know them they're reaching millions for me but i don't know them okay so listen up right i had a dream that i woke up from last night i'm under so much attack i had a dream that i woke up from where it is that i was wearing these white robes and a hoodie that was also white like a hooded white robe standing almost like i was a, a spectacle like um what do you call this thing imagine a, a figurine like a ballerina cling, 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 in that box just going and going and going that you wind like that and then somebody just watching it and watching it until it finally winds down like just watching it and watching it and watching it until the thing is depleted and so it just stops dancing yeah i had a dream a nightmare where i was wearing white robes i was wearing a white like choir like gown but it was hooded and these people were wearing similar gowns to me but theirs were shrouded in red and black and it's like i was in the middle and they were all just it, it looked like a ritual room an occult ritual room a satanic ritual room with a lot of people in it encircling me while i was in the center of the circle and they were all around me all right and i was like a figurine a ballerina in the center that they were waiting to finally wind out <laughs> they were waiting for me to finally wind out they were waiting with bated breath just kind of in a trance-like state they looked dazed waiting for me to run out of juice phew guys that god that was god showing me that i am being watched looked at by by serious cults in this country full of dark ominous men and women imaginative that the day's gonna come and i'm finally winded out and what they are using to base their likely prosperity against me is the fact that literally nobody watches my content and then i i i, I asked god why why is no one watching my content why did you let me grow in subscribers with shorts but with no one viewing my content i mean you're god you could have just done it differently you could have just given me subscribers and from what i understand the holy spirit is telling me as to why that is going on it is in order that those who are handed over to a reprobate mind might remain in it it is written in the book of daniel about the last days uh daniel 12 that the last days is going to be such that the righteous will do righteously but the wicked will do wickedly still so both people will be diametrically opposed and no one will do differently from what it is that they're doing those who are in whatever grain they're in are just going to get bigger and better in it so the righteous will just get bigger and better in their righteousness while the wicked will just get worse and worse in their wickedness they will wax worse and guys that is an observation that i am making the kind of work that i do and the amount of um effort that i put in to convert my evil audience my nefarious diabolical beastly audience 
to Christ because my, my content is scantily perused. And out of that scant number of people, there are genuine followers who really are interested in God's word that are listening to me. And then there are literally the majority, just these satanic people that go back to the drawing board, cast spells on me in a myriad of capacities, love spells, make her age overnight, stop her ministry, tire her out, weigh her, whatever might be the spell. Y'all, if you've been listening to me for any amount of time, which is highly unlikely, you will know what it is that are the various spells that keep getting cast on me. Just yesterday, I told you about a spell that was recently sent to me by my former best friend, and it was disgusting. Yeah, I am largely being looked at by occult people, and they come here to surveil my work, to check what's going on, and then they go back to the drawing board to basically recurse a woman that they imagine is under a curse in order that I might not come up for air again verifying daniel the book of daniel daniel 12 and uh, for me it's like okay god what's happening here I, I just need to know are we are we really at the end in which case must i shift my focus because i am trepidatious to speak a lot about the, the very end of the end because i have got to keep myself hopeful that i might not faint lest we are not at the end lest we are not at the end uh, of the end i need to continue to hope for a normal life but if that's not coming, but rather it's literally the very blistering end of this co going concern, I need to refocus my energies and actually share the apocalyptic dreams I'm getting. I am gliding right over them because I'm trying not to focus on them because it's hard. It dis it's disheartening. It is disheartening to share what I see concerning that end times debacle, knowing that people have been sharing their dreams and their visions for very many decades now. And if I'm here for another couple of decades, I'm not focusing on that for the sake of my heart. Perhaps in the future, if I were to be given a, a normal life, a family, a husband, some kids, then all the dreams that are apocalyptic that I get, I would easily share them in my YouTube channel and tell people, y'all, we're at the end because I'm filling the earth and I'm occupying it. I'm living for Christ while also waiting for the return of the Lord. But right now, it's disheartening because it's <laughs> the Bible says hope deferred makes the heart sick it is a hope a blessed hope these apocalyptic outcomes for me because i'm saved so i'm safe in the apocalypse given that the lord will grab his bride they will be in his chambers and until his indignation has passed so i am safe in the apocalypse <coughs> i'm covered <coughs> in the apocalypse so hastening its return for me is ideal it's okay like i don't mind even in the slightest however should it tarry I cannot focus on it because it is a hope that is deferred and it makes my heart sick. It makes my heart terribly sick. So I literally go out of my way to hope for a future. And then I get some of the dreams that I get and I'm like, what's going on? And then I get told some of the things that I get told by the Lord and I'm like, what's going on? For me to understand that there are people reaching millions for Christ that don't know God, that have secretly apostatized, that however think they're cool with God, and that have been handed over to a reprobate state. And I ask God, why do you not just let us be okay? All right, how can I just, let me, I need to get this message out in a small amount of time because I don't want to be here forever in a day, okay? Two nights ago, I had a dream of me crying, sitting on a pavement, like a, a con like, yeah, pavement, yeah. I was sitting on a pavement, hugging a brother of mine because we were both put in the same position and the two of us were just there, stooped. A crushed spirit make it the heart stoop. We were stooped and that guy was branded vision sealed, vision sealed. There is a YouTube channel and the name of the YouTube channel is vision sealed or vision unsealed. It's like orange in color, the brand of that YouTube channel, orange and black. The, the, the gentleman who runs the channel. A couple of months ago got demonetized by YouTube and then God he lost his job too but then he got another one quickly thank God afterwards right and ever since that time I don't know if he's been re-monetized or, or, or what but ever since that time I have not seen his videos on YouTube not that I was looking I was not looking but then recently one of his videos popped up from like a couple of, of weeks ago and I clicked on it. I want, no, actually, I, I was watching one channel 
and that channel that video i watched it all the way to the end and it had a similar title to a video that he had uploaded and so as i was scrolling down to look for as this video was coming to an end i was scrolling down to look for on my phone another video um while i was passing time because I, I think i was doing edits at the same time and then i saw his video vision unsealed and then i clicked unsealed it's unsealed yeah and i clicked on his um a video and i watched it from the beginning to the end okay because i watched it from the beginning to the end then one day when i was doing my edits in one of my channel like not my edits sorry when i was uh, changing over to one of my other channels all right the channel in which i was watching which is the ma my main channel those videos on my cell phone when i was in that channel now that i am on my big computer screen the recommendation page then because i watched it from the beginning to the end and i'm a subscriber of his then recommended another video of his and then i noticed a, like a massive like a just a gargantuan sharp decline of views in comparison to what this man used to get like he would upload a video and it would get like within maybe five days he'd already have almost a hundred thousand views that's how this man used to rank okay his channel his youtube his youtube channel has about 280 something subscribers 80 something 280 something thousand subscribers but he had a lot more views than his subscribers right and yeah like i said he would sometimes pull in hundreds of thousands of views for one video because he was that prolific okay with, with, with like sharing god's word and he was reaching god's people my goodness i clicked on his video once and then another one was recommended to me and a video that he uploaded four months ago had 11,000 views. I was like, ah, maybe it's one of those, you know, because everybody has a bad day with videos. But then I noticed that yet even the one that I was watching inside, like after the other one that basically was on the same page of recommendations for it, it was sitting on just the tens of thousands of views. And it was very uncharacteristic, unlikely of this man's channel. Usually, by the time that his stuff would get recommended to me in the past, it was a lot. Like it was already sitting on like 50,000 views, 75,000, etc. And now the guy is about a ceiling. He's hitting a ceiling of like 10,000, 30,000 views, stuff like that. I then thought to myself, ever since YouTube demonetized him, they probably also shadow banned him. And the shadow banning is so bad that it's even blinding his subscribers from seeing him because he is big. He's got 280 something thousand subscribers. And so if his subscribers like his stuff and they proliferate his stuff, it will reach people anyway. So they are blinding subscribers, including me. I have not seen him for months. His videos when I have not been on my main feed, my page for months. I have not been able to click on him. Uh, to find like uh, there are so many people that i watch so many new channels that i follow every well not maybe every day but to get my point every so often and this guy it was it had been a minute since i saw a video of his coming through and I, he used to get recommended literally almost every day uh, there are people uh, like i follow a lot of christians online but i especially follow reformed christians i follow all denominations but i am especially particular about those who are reformed in their thought so gospel of christ ministries love those guys i love ellen parr I love uh who is this um that vision unsealed like there are channels that i like precisely because they basically stand with my kind of doctrinal convictions yeah and that guy's one of them he's one of them and he has just been he has eluded me for months and i recently found him and recently just as at like the last couple of days i have not seen a video of his recommended to me again purely because i did not click on a video of his again to watch it from beginning to end but he used to pop up on my feed every time you would upload something every single time every single day i then concluded that he must be shadow banned so violently that even subscribers can't see him properly youtube is just blocking the my the the the, the, the what, what is this the, the, the eyes of, of even subscribers pre preventing this man from essentially speaking and the work that he does was not so taboo that it would warrant that kind of reaction and all i could ask for ask god was what is the difference between vision unsealed and all these other people that speak the same things in their channels and don't get this kind of harsh like mistreatment this kind of harsh closure this harshness of just you know curse like just squeezing them in a what 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 is the what what makes what what is it that makes a carab versus somebody else whose channel is exactly like mine but somehow they're getting viewed what is going on i like i was i seriously sent a, a question up to god curiously on some why are some christians okay 
on YouTube and others not? Are we all... Are we just the ones that are so severely banned? Are we just sitting in the wrong corner of the earth and find a whole bunch of strange, uh, ominous beasts happy to cast a spell or two on us? Or is there something else going on here? I need to know. I had the dream of me basically holding that guy, like uh, we were just both sitting stooped on the, on the pavement, saddened by how it is that we do so much work for God, we bend over backwards so heavily, our edits are so excruciating, so much work, and it goes nowhere, feeling flattened, being very discouraged, and asking ourselves the same question, why me? And what is it about that guy that's getting him looked at? He's okay. Why has he not been targeted? Why has he not been targeted? What is going on? And guys, two days, not today, sorry, today, today, I then get told while I'm washing dishes in the kitchen that there are people reaching millions of people for Jesus that don't know God, that aren't of the Lord. It is, of course, not every single body that is left alone to thrive on YouTube that this is a problem concerning but like in other words apostasy but it's just made me crease my forehead there is a, a a controversy here something very controversial is going on and the people that appear to be all right and left to thrive some of them the lord has just been alerting me to the understanding of that they are not his children in the past two or three days i've been dreaming about them jumping up and down enjoying christianity enjoying i'm not going to mention who they are because i follow them i personally subscribe to them because there is nothing that i can earmark identify about their doctrine about their testimony about what they do about the nature of their ministry that that i can ever call out as problematic at all so basically i'm toggling right now with in denial i'm toggling with in denial i can't like from god that one of them after i woke up from the dream where he was basically enjoying christianity jumping partying in front of me while i was in sorrow and suffering i remembered that dream in the kitchen while i was washing dishes it always comes to me when i'm washing dishes and the lord was like he's not even my servant he's not even my servant he is enjoying how well embraced he is as a Christian, but he's not even mine. And I was just like, what, what then? Like who? Like what, what, like how? If that's the case, God, then what is going to fix this epidemic? Because the thing about rewarding wickedness is that it only magnifies it. When you give a bad little child a sweetie after doing a bad thing, you only tell them that that bad thing is terrible, is, is okay, that that bad thing is, is going to give them more reward in the future. You reinforce their behavior. So this here is only going to continue to happen at the excruciating expense of the true body of Christ, true Christians. My concern was about the true body of Christ. It was about those of us that have been sidelined in favor of people that are trusted as Christians because of the fact that they are practicing sorcery to get ahead it's like how can i say this how it's you see the situation i'm in exactly this very situation that i'm in where i am essentially stagnant even though i'm growing in subscriber numbers it's the weirdest thing you cannot monetize without both a growth in subscribers and a growth in <laughs> guys yes yeah, like you get my point subscribers and watch hours i'm frozen i'm stagnant on watch hours i'm going nowhere my long form content does not get viewed even with new strategies that I employ, it's just like too slow for me to be freed from this financial rut that I am in, this um, brokenness, this life of sorrow, torture. Just three, two days ago, I had a, a nightmare where some satanic man was telling himself that he's going to cast a spell on me to give me, never mind, 10 years of sorrow by 20. So get me to the age of 50. He won't be the first trying. He won't be the first. So, I mean, at this slowness of growth that I'm in right now, that there is looking very freaking possible that i could find myself still striving struggling two years later three years later 44 45 and i'm still actually talking about a husband and some kids and the lament i keep raising to god is but you are god why do you not just give me some kind of freedom i'm a woman i'm suffering too much i can't be going through this for much longer i can't have mercy on me i have no family you know they don't count i have no love i need something that's going to keep me going. I need encouragement. Every time I fast, I get small breakthroughs, little milestones. This is unsustainable. This is not a sustainable life for a person, especially not a woman. And you also know the beleaguerment of my person by really licentious men, like some pretty disgusting men. You know how they look at my situation and just feel like it's only a matter of time before I will accommodate ew, any of them. 
you know how grossed out I am about that. You also know how much it's constantly feverishly pursuing me. Just this past night, I had a dream of some random ew saying that he will treat me better than the guy in America. He will do better by me. Like it's all corovela. It's it's all love spells. They are disgusting. You don't understand. Like I gag when I think about these particular men in the occult. They're pornographic. They're licentious. They are promiscuous in their waking lives. And they feel like it's this here is just a ticket to ish joe like y'all you don't understand they they feel as if though sorcery is a supplement like vitamin c tablets to their promiscuity it, it helps them get more sex like and and so the fact that they can use a spell like that on me it, it yes i find guys i i find it just like gro disgusting i find them disgusting and i keep saying that to god why don't you give me financial independence that i might be at a minimum set free from these freaks the men for me are the biggest one the ones that just keep on going back to drain board and seeing if they can't cast a new stupid spell i find them disgusting Ew. it's gross it is like it's it's perverted it's it's yeah it's it, it's just a sexual perversion an extreme one and that kind of filth has no business being in my life i am a child of god a man with that extreme sexual deviancy has no business being in my life but men like these are looking at me and it makes me gag every single day there is at least one such attack that i dream about every single night they are trying and trying because they're scavengers and they need meat to be dead for them to eat it so my financial debilitation my state of want is their only opportunity it's a window for them it, I am a 10 for the price of one. They are opportunistic. And so if I get out of this, I will eradicate at least that. Ugh. I will eradicate at least that. Gorovela will significantly de decline. You, like It will significantly decline. Why not set me free out of the clutch of these disgusting men? At least that. By giving me at least one monetized channel. Why am I in this state? You see the, the, the severe beleaguerment I'm under right now. How grossed out I am. This situation, you see it from what the Lord is showing me. There are much too many Christians in the same position. And my question is, how much longer are you going to leave us in the state? It's written in Psalm 125 that the scepter of the wicked will not remain on the land allotted to the righteous, lest the righteous should turn aside their hands to do evil. If we are this afflicted by attrition, I'm trying to get to a conclusion here to understand what I'm saying. If there is this much attrition on us, if there is this much pressure on us as a body of Christ, testing us and testing us, basically to a point where we are not able what could be the only outcome of this test what could be the only end result when people don't repent who have put us in a position to endure these testings when a woman is just perpetually beleaguered by perverts what under heaven is the likely outcome for true christians that are unsung at present unsung are you hearing what i'm saying true believers that are trying to do the work of the lord but are unsung we are the ones filled truly by the holy spirit therefore sent by god to do what we need to do however ignored by the world in favor of our apparent brethren that aren't even his and these apparent brethren are prospering hallelujah to reach millions for jesus listen to what i'm trying to say here the lord is showing me that the true body of christ is suffering so exquisitely wherever they are at on the earth right now that they are unsuccessfully trying to do their jobs in Christ while other people have taken their positions and God is allowing them to do that because they presently are the only people that are being that are not being targeted by Satan on the earth given that they're self-deceived they're self-deceived but they are prospering to achieve the Great Commission's work in bringing people into the fold so all I could conclude from that that inference that I could make was God must Therefore, be gathering the remaining remnant for himself through these charlatans because of the fact that they have buried his true seed. We are suffering too much. But if if this attack on the body of Christ, if this target by occult organizations in the world were to smother us, sorry, these attacks by occult organizations in the world that are smothering us, if at all we were by the Lord, allowed to be the only people successfully reaching people for christ there would not be so enough people coming to jesus essentially the the, the great commission would be left in the hands of my channel absolutely nobody watches me so only one or two people 
only one of three people are going to get redeemed, saved for the Lord Jesus Christ. But I mean, really, if at all there is some charlatan out here pulling in hundreds of thousands of views per video that they upload, and they're speaking voracious stuff, they're speaking the gospel, they are really, truly sound in what they communicate. And as a result, people are actually getting transformed, converted. It's essentially what would be the tenement of a heavenly loophole. It's a loophole. It's a way to proliferate the gospel with people truly getting saved by charlatans while God is comforting his true servants that why wait a little minute, just wait a little moment. I'm gathering people for myself. I know that you are unnecessarily buried in a corner behind the gargantuan shadow of that charlatan, that one, that one, that one. And those charlatans have got all your subscribers. They've got all your views. Those charlatans have got all the people that are supposed to be enabling you to get to a point of monetization. But they're, what is this? Um, they're embraced, they're loved. Oh, okay, I, I haven't wanted to speak about this because there are some people that I respect on YouTube that do this, but I find it problematic. I find it problematic. There are Christians on the internet, and it's a bone that I've been trying to pick for a minute, who have a membership section on their YouTube channel, and I don't get that. I do not get that. There are Christian channels that I richly respect that have got a membership section of their channel. Let me go on right ahead to expand on that. When you create membership on your channel, where it is that people have got to pay some kind of a premium to watch certain content, members only, when even on your thumbnail, you will say members only. What the heck are you doing? You have got to know that that is sinful. You have got to know. Th that stuff is for, if you're trying to make money, it's a good business idea. Members only, subscribers only, Patreon only. I get it. If you're trying to make some money on a fitness channel, on a baking channel, on a sporting channel, travel, something secular, something entirely unrelated to the gospel. You can, as a Christian, do that. Have a channel where you bake, but you have an exclusive members only puff pastry that you're making. And only members have got access to this. Maybe even do a Patreon account that indeed only members can watch it. But the moment, oh my goodness, like I don't know why they don't see this. And some of them are so sound. The moment you do a members only section on a Christian channel, what are you saying? You are basically saying that if you can't afford to listen to this, you are locked out. You are creating classism in the body of Christ. You're creating an elitist rung in the body of Christ. You are saying that this here portion of the gospel is only accessible to those who can afford to pay for it. Last time I checked, according to the scriptures, this is what God said about that. You are ones who are using the name of God as a means for financial gain. I always get so turned off. And guys, never mind being turned off, but there are, there, there's somebody that I once, my heart bled so much. A title was out there, gawking at me, thumbnail, staring at me. I clicked on it wanting to listen to what was said therein because I was interested to know what was being said inside there to be edified. The Bible says you must sharpen one another as iron sharpens one another. Mm. I was trying to get sharpened by my brother, the iron tool. And then YouTube popped out a page to, do you want to become a member? Do you want to go to this link redirecting me to basically pay to watch that video? I was like, oh, it's one of those, my bad. I went back and saw on the thumbnail that I forgot to read a ribbon on the top right that said members only, for real. Imagine if Christ had a members only section at his revivals. You can't come because of A, B, C, D. What in the world? Or like what any Christian that has got a members only segment is sinning. They are sinning. And for me, it's like you have got to know that. You are selling the gospel and it is unacceptable. You can monetize your YouTube channel entirely. Subscription is free. People to click on your content and watch it, that is free. Everybody has access to it and you still get to make money. You can sell t-shirts on your channel. You can even have that thanks thingy my bobby if people want to give you a donation or whatever. But the moment you make a certain content exclusive to certain people, you are literally sh shutting certain people out of the kingdom of heaven or oh, from understanding. And God will is obviously has got a, pro a controversy to pick with that. Like obviously, which is why I don't understand Christians that have a Patreon account. Like I, I don't, I'm sorry. No, I do not get it because only certain people can watch you in that space. There should not be anything that a Christian is doing that anybody else cannot access right now out here in these streets. It's just wrong. It's wrong. But it's stuff like that that the Lord has been highlighting to me that they've literally converted their ministries into businesses enough to do unsavory business practices that are, however, legal somewhat by the standards of this world and have absolutely neglected what is the reality of what needs to happen. Let me get to the point. 
I do not want to labor. Oh, and another thing that also grates the living daylights out of me. Copyright on Christian material. I, I cannot. Like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? If people cannot play your entire video as a Christian YouTuber from beginning to end without facing a copyright strike, you are sinning. And there is a few Christians of this nature where somebody cannot even be, unless it's a stitch, but you cannot like literally grab five minutes of somebody saying something and replay it on your channel without facing a copyright strike. Oh, okay. Did you seriously just copyright prophecy? Did you seriously just copyright the Bible? The Watchman is a brother that I follow on YouTube and he once got a copyright strike and a copyright strike threatens the existence of a YouTube channel altogether from another Christian for putting his video in his video. And it just broke my heart so much and made me second guess that other Christian because I also follow him. I also follow him. So it's the members only problem and it's the fact that certain Christians properly copyright their Christian content. Like what are you doing? What are you doing? That's the work of the Lord. That's God's work. The Lord has given you skills, hands, feet, eyes, ears to go and make money baking bread. Go be a carpenter like Christ. Go and make tables. Go and give financial advice. Go and do travel advisories. Proper, like, find a secular thing. Go and teach children how to play soccer. Go and bake some cookies and sell them at the mart. But do not use the gospel as a means for financial gain because the moment you lean on nothing but the gospel, you will literally use it as a business the way that worldly people use it as a business. And in businesses, certain people just cannot get what you're offering. When you make people pay for certain things, like I just, I can't, I can't deal, I can't deal. Paying for revival, paying for the, like it's, it's ridiculous. And some of these people are calling out health, wealth and prosperity preachers. It's problematic. No Christian should have a members only section in their channel at all, at all. And those who do are sinning. I'm not saying they're, they're hell bound, but it's stuff like this that God was highlighting to me. They're sinning. They, they have essentially missed something. They, like, they, they're like David. That's what I'm, yeah. The prophet Nathan needs to come and wham them with understanding that you, you, you don't just get to do that, dude. You don't just get to do that and be okay. They're pulling a Bathsheba proverbially in whatever capacity. And it's just not dawning on them that this is wrong. They're enjoying their Christianity at the expense of people like me. I'm so intrigued in the things of God, but I'm poor. I'm shattered. I'm a persecuted saint. It is grieving for me to not be able to watch something on a YouTube channel because it's members only, especially considering I can't afford to. I'm broke. I have no money. So I guess that means I don't get to find out why Iran is making a deal with whatever country, whatever proxy that it has sent to go and strike Israel. Why under heaven it is that the Damascus prophecy is likely to come to pass recently. I can't find that out unless I find somebody else. I mean, if, if, you, if you're the person that I trust with global news, if you're so well researched on world events that I prefer to listen to such stuff as the such prophecies as these from you, and then I can't listen to that video. I have to go in now, scour the internet for somebody that is as reliable as you. And we all know how hard it is to find good teachers. It's hard to find them. So when you found one and he's got a members only channel, what are you like? What all proper? It's the kind of stuff that should result in tears in these people. They should mourn like David. Oh God, a broken, a contrite spirit you will not despise. That, that's the one problem going on in the body of Christ right now. But then there are a, a batch of people from what the Lord is showing me that aren't even his. Essentially, they got interested in the things of God, started to walk with him. However, when persecutions hit, essentially, they, they are part of that section of the parable of the sower who, when persecution hits, they fall away. I think that's the seed that lands on rocky ground or uh, yeah, this, this, yeah, you get my point. Please go listen, what, read the parable of the sower in the Bible and get the exposition of it from Charles Spurgeon. I think he's got the best one. There is a category of people that fall away from the faith because of persecution. They walk well with Christ initially and then they just fall away. They fall away. I've done a video explaining how that even works in a space where it is that you can't lose your salvation. So we're not going to enter into that, right? But these people started something out initially Javul vul vul car in the ignition but then it did not start they got panicked never mind by persecution but by lack and want this world is shallow and so because this world is as shallow as it is it tends to appreciate regard and respect people when people respect appreciate and regard them if people are abused this world just keeps them abused it ignores them and it abuses them because they're abused human psychology is such that if nobody is looking at you nobody's gonna look at you it's just unfortunate that's why beggars tend to stay in poverty for the rest of their days 
even though there's enough people around that could actually help them get out of that grain. That's why the poor get ignored in public society. That's why nobody wants to touch them. No one wants to look at them. The moment you go out, out begging for money, people out your proper be treating you like you're the scum of the earth. They are avoidable because everybody's already avoiding them. They stay poor because they're already poor. People treat them like trash because they're already treated like trash. That's just human psychology. So if your YouTube channel is going absolutely nowhere, your YouTube channel will continue to go absolutely nowhere. If no one views your video after a certain come, uh, amount of hours since it has been uploaded, human psychology is such that people are going to underestimate the living daylights out of it so they are and uh, they are less inclined to watch it when there's no views there are of course that few remnant people that will click on you when you've got zero views that'll be the first one to look at you the first one to comment in your video the first one to do whatever yeah those that be marched to the beat sorry of a different drum those that are happy to be unique in any given circumstance but unfortunately they fall on the far um extremes of the normal distribution they're on the outliers and so they're not the regular they're not the norm they don't populate the center those who populate the center are those who follow the grain they they get themselves you know pulled by the by the nose by public opinion and so public opinion is communicated through views on youtube or any other social media platform for that matter so the problem then is in those who are making sure that nobody looks at us because nobody is looking at us those who are keeping us impoverished because we are already impoverished just based on human psychology alone yeah it is those Christians that are now suffering at the hands of that insanity that God is, to, I, I believe, telling, hold fast just a little minute longer. Because all of your views, all of your crowds, it's written in God's word that follow me and I will make you fishers of men. You see, God has power to make out of us fishers of men. He can not just simply make a decision to disregard entirely witchcraft operating on a Christian's life. And say no, God was going to get views anyway. Vision Sealed is going to be okay. The Watchman is another one. He once said on his video that when he first started his channel, he used to gain uh, uh, several thousands of subscribers per week or whatever. And ever since he got shadow banned, is uh, he has now gotten a significantly lower uh, number of um, subscribers. He is sitting on three hundred thousand something subscribers, and he's been on that three hundred and something thousand for ever, pretty much since I've known him. It's like he barely grows and then every video that he uploads he only gets twenty thousand views for somebody at most at maximum like 24 maybe thirty thousand. and for somebody that has got a channel that has three hundred thousand over three hundred thousand subscribers to get twenty thousand maximum ceiling views on a video is bizarre it's just bizarre it's like where are all these 287 thousand people where are they he never ever breaks past thirty five thousand maybe he like he like he's having a good day if he gets 40 gra 40 uh, k uh, views on his videos and the way that that man works so hard the amount of work that he puts in goodness gracious it's just it's it's ridiculous for us to work like this bend over backwards flatten ourselves on the street only for all of our views to go everywhere else he is so informative i've known him for years i've, I've basically followed his channel for years he's so informative that he trumps he he excels he defies so many other youtube channels that are into eschatology explaining the bible with veracity with doctrinal veracity as well as mixing it with Bible prophecy, grabbing news clips and everything to help the world understand where we find ourselves on the prophetic timeline. He is excellent. Do you understand what I'm saying? He should be getting viewed by, given that we're in the last days, given that we're in the last days, he should be getting viewed by millions of people every video that he uploads. He should be like Russell Brand. He should be. And yet, the people that are getting the hundreds of thousands of views, the ones that are getting the big numbers, are the ones with the memberships in their channels they're the ones with the like it's like for me what's with the imbalance i don't understand what is going on and from what the lord has shown me he, like he's basically picking a controversy with certain members of the actual body of christ so they're saved but they're sinning like david with bathsheba but then there are others who are just counterfeits altogether they are not of us they don't even belong to the kingdom of heaven not even at all and these are the ones that are actively participating in the mutiny against the body of christ using witchcraft however it is unbeknownst to themselves that that's what they're doing once again when you have taken pleasure in your unrighteousness god hands you over to your reprobate mind the bible says also that do not be deceived god is not mocked for whatsoever a man soweth so too shall he reap if you sow to the flesh you will reap what corruption but if you sow to the spirit you will reap what eternal life these are people that are completely ignoring that you cannot sow to the flesh and then reap eternal life they think they're saved but they're not they started out with god 
but then walked away because persecution hit. They saw the perceptions of man, realized that the best way for them to continue to get loved is for them to be loved at all. And since the world hates disciples, they just could not take the heat. So they got out of the kitchen. They could not take the fact that they got resisted. They could not take the fact that they got resisted. Do you understand what I'm saying? And the resistance also meant that they would have to be at the dregs of society, that they would have to struggle, that they would have to basically talk to people and no one listen, that they would go out and evangelize on the street and nobody would come. They wanted to evangelize and essentially make out of themselves, no, not Christ, but themselves, fishers of men. There is a ritual that is done in the occult. I am aware of it because I listened, I have listened to enough occult testimonies to understand how it is that some people blow up on social media overnight, even though they've got trash content. Nobody can understand it. I was listening to this one testimony of this one girl that signed a contract with with like the devil she was struggling to get a job she had gotten some call center job that she lost and it was just really rough and she wanted something and then she met some dude that advised her that you can just do dance videos on the internet or makeup or whatever and go to this woman and your videos will blow up no matter what you put up you put it on TikTok, it blows up. You put it on YouTube, it blows up. This chick experimented with this, having never touched witchcraft before. Sick and tired of having, like just going through the modes and nothing happening for her. And then she tested this Sangoma's little trinket of a spell. And she claims that ever since basically rubbing this funny thing and doing this ritual in her bedroom, indeed, her videos blew up on TikTok. She suddenly got a hundred, hundreds of thousands of followers and all that jazz. And she managed to start an Instagram page that got her 50,000 followers. And then she was making some decent money on social media, making it possible for her to provide for her family, not have to um, go to a nine to five corporate job, uh, all that jazz. And however, the, the, the end result of that story was that she was burdened by this ritual that she had to keep doing. One thing that she highlighted in her testimony, she was not um, yet a convert to Christ. She wrote into Brother Nashe, I've told you guys about that, that um, channel, African Confessions. People just write about all the things that they've done Aja, in these streets. She highlighted that in order for her to maintain those subscribers uh, or those followers that kept on following her on TikTok and whatnot, she had to keep doing the ritual. She couldn't just do it one time and then it just feeds her for life. She had to just keep doing it. So that was a basically a uh, prosperity curse. I don't know what you want to call it on oneself. You are on social media and you are starting a hair channel and there are like millions of hair channel content creators. The competition is stiff. Who is going to watch you as you're using Greek versus the, the other person? It's not your thumbnail, it appears. And it is not your keyword search, it appears that works. Do you know how many guys, like, I, do you have any idea how many search engine optimization experts contact me a week? Just this week alone, I've had two and it's only Wednesday. They keep telling me your, your channel is excellent, it's beautiful. I, but and yet you're not getting views like i'm like dude you're noticing something that <coughs> even i know and your seo expertise are not gonna help because this year my brother is spiritual this year is spiritual this year is spiritual i can show you the screen now i actually delete them i put them in, in, in the in the junk folder and i delete them because i like even if i had money to pay an seo expert that man would be embarrassed or that woman would be embarrassed because of the fact that no amount of effort even on their side would work to get my channel to move because this here is spiritual so people see that my content is good they notice that there's something worth it it's not just on uh, uh, no, it's not just my youtube channel where i get contacted by seo people but i also get contacted by seo people for my blog and my blog i haven't written in it over a year now and i still get emails because it's that good and yet there's no views I can help you improve the searchability of your blog and get followed by more people. Yeah, not when there's like a whole bunch of coven members looking at you, grunting, chanting, making sure you go nowhere. Honey, me paying you is not going to do anything for me given that I'm broke proper. There was a time when I paid a, um, what do you call it, like a premium on WordPress in order that I could indeed access AdSense revenue because you could not monetize a WordPress account unless you were premium. At the time, now they've changed those rules. Okay, yeah, I paid almost like 2,500 or something to get a premium plan. And I was like zero as a guys. I was writing, I was writing articles. I was writing feverishly for me to go absolutely nowhere. Sometimes only one person would like my blog and my heart was so broken because I had invested that money to get a premium plan that I could monetize it this account of mine this blog of mine but witchcraft was in operation 
and I was guys like it was money just down the drain and I keep going to God and I'm like when am I gonna get out of this grain because herein lies the perfect deal you are God you can just fix it I mean none of these powers these rulers these spiritual wickedness in high places all of this witchcraft none of them got anything on you you gave me authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy nothing shall by any means harm me why have you kept me in a grain and the answer I always get to is that there's gonna come a time in the history of the human race where God is going to leave Christians in a grain as a strong delusion as an optical illusion to make people who don't love the truth who take pleasure in their unrighteousness who deceive themselves into thinking that they're saved when they can't possibly be i read from revelation 22 yesterday in describing how it is that it is clear that sorcerers will not enter the kingdom of heaven and yet these people imagine that god is okay with them must be because they tried to walk with god and it just it hurt too much they didn't want to walk away from God because they believe that there is hell to pay. And so they stick around in their profession of faith as Christians. Imagine they're saved. Yet, like the girl doing rituals to get TikTok views, go on right ahead to do rituals to get YouTube views. So now you've got this Christian YouTuber that's just ranking in the numbers, a million even to a point. Mm using rituals and she has to keep doing these rituals. He has to keep doing these rituals over the years as his channel goes from 50,000 subscribers when you first meet him and then next thing he's sitting on 150,000 subscribers and only two months have progressed. By the end of the year, the dude is literally on 500,000 subscribers and after two years, he's, he's bordering on a million. He's bordering on oh, how which Christian is that popular today? I explain that to me. I'm not saying that Christian content creators that have got many subscribers are witches, but there are some that are. And these people think they're saved because this is the mindset going on in their head from what the Lord showed me. God must obviously be okay with it because I use this to push the gospel. I'm using this to proliferate the gospel. If I did not use this ritual, no one would watch me. It's not like I didn't, I'm, it's basically saying that they are serving God with witchcraft. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you see how bizarre that they are, they telling themselves that they are serving God with witchcraft. They cast, they did these spells, they do these rituals in order to reach people, sorry, in order, yeah, in order to reach people for Christ, in order to get more subscribers, more views. And because they don't tarry from the word of God, they don't tarry from the truth because they are largely doctrinally sound. They then also tell themselves, I'm not deceiving them with health, wealth and prosperity. I'm not deceiving them with this and that and the other. I'm not deceiving them with doctrines of demons and destructive heresies. I'm not de deceiving them with um, uh, doctrines of tithings and telling them, give me a 10% of your money and then you are going to get blessings from God. I am one of the good ones that preach soundly. I'm one of the good ones because they don't deviate from the truth of the scriptures. They then self-deceive into thinking that God is okay with it because after all, they're using witchcraft for God. And I was like, God, but you can fix that. You can just choose not to let them get the glory of your Christians. And then he would let me know that we are in the last days. It is the strong delusion. They've been handed over to their reprobate mind. They knew what the truth was and exchange it for a lie. They have given heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of demons. They knew better, but they chose to mock me. And I told them not to be deceived for I am not mocked. What they sow to the flesh, they will then too reap in destruction. They will reap in corruption. They ignored that altogether and imagined that they needed to help me along to proliferate the gospel that I gave down to the nations. God is the one that is the creator of the fisher of men. Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Christians are supposed to just trust that. They will start a channel, speak some stuff in there, and God will send them viewers. God will send them spectators. That's what's good. When then, as a Christian, you refuse to go through your season of testing, because by this, what is this? Um, If anybody wants to live a life in Christ, they will suffer persecution. When you refuse to go through your season of testing because you think you're special, you're too legit to quit, can't nobody touch you because you're MC Hammer, you don't want to have to suffer. You want to have an enjoyable Christianity, however, that is bi bi biblically sound, doctrinally voracious. You want to have your bread buttered on both sides where you don't go through the strivings of a Christian, but you have the benefits of being respected as one, revered as one, not critiqued by sound teachers in the faith, not have people call you out as a false teacher like Mike Winger calling out Benny Hinn. You're not Benny Hinn, uh-uh, you are ABC. And upon being ABC, everybody in the faith respects you. Sometimes your videos get clipped and are played by very sound teachers in the faith. Yet, from what the Lord showed me, you are using witchcraft. You want to have the honor, the badge of a Christian 
and indeed among Christians and the world at large, you have it. But in the sight of God, you're detestable. You're an abomination. You, you keep on going back to Satan to bring you a Christian audience. It is therefore no wonder the occult is not targeting them. The occult are drawn like the blood of a human being by a vampire. They are drawn to the scent of a Christian in the occult. They, they, they can suss us out. They know where we're at. They've got paraphernalia that help them know that there is a Christian in this region. It is spiritual. And so that's how they find us out. It's like there is something about us that they pick up. They can tell who is saved and who is not. They know the difference. People in the occult know a Christian and not. They absolutely know who is born again and who is not. They've got tools to figure stuff like that out. And so when they glide past your ministry and see that there's no orb or glow or whatever, whatever it is that they use to find you out as somebody that is wreaking havoc, because the thing about the Holy Spirit who, that dwells in Christians is that he has power to absolutely decimate and destroy the works of darkness. So that's why they hate us. They want to get rid of this power that antagonizes what they're doing. But if you don't have it, you ain't nothing. You're a non-threatening force. You're not scary. You can't actually truly do anything to them. And so they just glide right by you. They just drive right by you. You're not giving any light. And so they just drive right by you. You're just as dark as everybody else. And then they target the one little house in the corner that's beaming. A city on a hill. And they just keep on shooting that one. And so the poor girl is sitting on zero views after uploading content for five days. Zero views, zero views, zero views, zero views. All that she gets viewed in are shorts. Because the occult is always like, boom, boom, boom. ask God, why? Why don't you just make me a fisher rest of men? Because I mean, God, you can, you've got power. You're God. And the Lord is like, they're being handed over to a strong delusion, a reprobate mind. They're being made to basically enjoy their lie in imagining mockery for days that holy as I am as God, I will be grateful to them for helping themselves along to bring people to me so i'm just letting them bring people to me that i will cleanse that i will wash that i will make new that i will give white robes that i will take to the rapture and i will leave them behind they will be exposed but if at all the rapture did not happen guys these people would never have been exposed they would have died and at their funerals preachers and the like would have spoken big haughty things about how they're safe with christ now when they would have continued to grow and grow and also mushroom the kingdom of heaven with the help of satanic power the occult leaves them alone that's why their channels are just burgeoning they leave them alone not because they're members of the same kingdom but because they can't spot them they don't see them they don't notice them their little radar that spots christians just walks right by them they don't bleep on that radar they don't bleep because they're not filled they don't have god and so that's why i've been asking the lord why this person and that one why are they okay and why is that other person not okay why is vision unsealed targeted so terribly while this guy and that guy isn't it's because of such a thing as this it's first compromised within the faith it's doing all different kinds of ungodly practices as christians and then it is also not being christian at all however reaching people for christ that's the difference the occult is targeting severely anointed people of god that are supposed to be doing the work of God, but that are deeply ignored. But guess when they will be heard? Once we're out of here, once we've left, because will you trust somebody that has got a channel that has got almost a million subscribers? Every time he or she uploads a video, they are just getting 50,000 views within the first hour. And yet he's busy sitting around after the rapture has happened. He's hanging around in these streets. He's probably walking up and down, hopping like a kangaroo, panicking like everybody else, wondering what just happened. Were Christians taken? A person getting left behind that was doctrinally sound, trusted by the whole body of Christ. For years, everybody loved him or her, and yet get revealed in the end as completely lost and will be at that stage that they will have to confess why they were left behind. Seeing as they appear to have been walking so straight with God, they were pure, sanctified. They spoke all the right things. They were not fornicators, it appeared. They looked good on the surface. They were so hard to detect that you couldn't call them out like Benny Hinn. Yeah, and yet you're here. Look at you walking up and down while the church, the remnant has actually gone. You have made the body of Christ exhausted. You've worn us out. You've caused us to click on videos that we can't even look at because proper members only. Are you serious? You've gotten our channel stricken with copyright um, strikes for quoting your video as a Christian. Therefore selling the gospel and also putting a, a, a intellectual property rights on it. Are you for real? Are you for real? You have done stuff like that. So now endure the things that are coming on the earth to test those who are here. I've been, and guys, I don't, is the rapture happening? I don't know. But the worsening state of my particular life and how people keep attacking me 
and how they want to stagnate me until I'm 50. While God has power to fix it, I've been asking him, why aren't you then? And the answer that the only one that I can conclude is that they're being handed over. They're being allowed to bring the, the last remaining batch into the ark that we might go to heaven while in and of themselves they'll be left behind the lord is leaving these big channels to continue to reach people for himself because that's what he's doing on the earth right now gathering for himself a people and making sure that every lost soul that will get saved will get saved and unfortunately largely some of them are getting born again through charlatans and while god can fix the state of those charlatans and make sure they get exposed while we get elevated as abu Garabo, he's not doing it because he did predict in his word that he will send them a strong delusion he will allow them to sit in their lies. He will allow them to essentially give heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of demons because they have exchanged the truth of God for a lie. This is not me being cursed. I can't be cursed. I'm a Christian. This is me essentially watching Bible prophecy unfold, watching the great apostasy, the falling away, people not enduring sound doctrines and having itching ears gathering for themselves a great number of teachers, people somehow justifying the use of witchcraft because goodness, if I don't do it, my life is going to be hard. Whoa my life is hard dude or do it. my life is hard but do you see me casting spells on some people that my channel might grow absolutely not how in the world then do you think we're going to be in the same heaven at the same rapture how under heaven do you imagine that you and i are going to hang out side by side next to each other when i strove through suffering in a channel growing in subscribers and eerily nobody watching my long form content it's an oblong thing going on there i'm out your grade like what am i gonna get like 2,000 subscribers that's where i'm headed my biggest channel is now on 1,500 subscribers and i'm gonna have 2,000 subscribers and still getting zero views in my long form content it's eerie it's like nightmare on elm street it's a proper horror movie that's what's going on because the occult is out just shooting me dead due to the fact that they can't recognize some other chick out here in these streets that is using their power not truly born again to grow their channel it's like go leave them be all these other people so it looks as if though the occult is not really making war with christianity are they they are making war with christians because they don't care to block the great commission the devil is working to the nail to block the great commission but actual physical mere mortal human beings don't care if you're listening to some charlatan online insofar as you're not listening to Garabo because their attempt, their endeavors are to impoverish Christians. They are trying to make us live a hard life until we are part. They are basically, we, they are trying to get people that love the Lord, the very ones that those men and women are reaching for Christ, to then decide that Christ ain't Jack after a season of being with him. I guess that's what the devil loves, right? When a person walks ever so briefly with Christ and then falls away, they get to burn hotter. They will be beaten with more blows because they were close to the light. So they repent or they appear to repent. They appear to be interested interested in God only for them to go through so much nonsense that, ah, ah sorry, I'm going to, no, like, proper. And when that is the status quo of the world at large, we have got to go, otherwise the scepter of the wicked remaining on the land allotted to the righteous will cause us to sin. Even we would end up sinning, if at all, this thing was not stopped. I cannot be maintained in so much squalor and poverty. I can't get to the age of 50 for crying out loud, given that I'm turning 40 this year. I can't get to the age of 50 with nothing to my name. I cannot live this life any longer. It is literally, I'm on a deathbed right now. I've got a terminal illness. It's that basic. I have no sickness in my physical body and yet I've got a terminal illness. This thing is killing me. And if it all, the Lord does not cut these days short, even I wouldn't be saved. No flesh would be saved. I'm strong. I'm resilient. We get it. But if God does not cut these days short, I won't be saved. So one way that he can cut the days short is through the rapture or give me my life back. And at the rate that things are going right now, at the way that I am being targeted by all of these licentious perverts. At the way that I am being like, basically looked at, gazed upon. I told you about that dream that I had. Where a whole bunch of um, occult practitioners were looking at me. Looking like a ballerina that has got that winding thing playing. Yeah, waiting for me to basically run out of juice. They're just waiting for me to run out of juice. Y'all are deceived, blind men, blind bats, blind guides. You're deceived. God is gathering for himself a people through lost souls that you don't even recognize as Christian because you, your paraphernalia doesn't pick them up. They don't bleep. You are harassing the true body of Christ while God is using those charlatans, those charlatans to bring the last five, ten people into the ark so that he can judge the whole world, including all of your gangsters sitting around a Christian trying to bewitch the living daylights out of her to finally wind down and accept one of you perverts for a husband. That's what's going on. He's leaving them to do what they want to do because it's been predicted that the great apostasy would happen and people would be sent a strong delusion handed over to their stupidity that they might continue to believe that they can be saved and still constantly do dark arts in the face of God, claiming they're doing him a favor to bring people to him. When the Lord said, I'm the one that makes you fishes of men. You don't make your own fish. You don't make your own dragnet. You don't make your own little hook, your own little lore, and then put it in the ocean. I do that. I do that. So those bringing fish into their dragnets themselves, they're going to find themselves solely wanting 
once the rapture happens, God is about to judge the world. But I'm still torn. I'm still in between worlds. I still am not 100% sure. Do you understand what I'm saying? What's happening here? I don't like to talk about the end because my hope gets deferred and then my heart gets sick. But with the way things are happening right now and all of these robberies happening in my complex, all this wickedness inclining in the world, me dreaming about brethren like stooped, their hearts stooping because they're going nowhere. Going from having 50,000 people viewing your video within five days and now you're sitting on 11,000 views after four months have progressed. When you used to have that level of prosperity, your heart is going to be broken. All I could imagine was that Vision Unsealed probably feels very sad when he uploads these videos and is also being very discouraged because he is noticing that he is not getting as many people viewing him anymore and there's nothing he can do about it. He just has to take that that's just a lot that God has given him and just deal. Our hearts are stooping and if that scepter remains on our land, we are not going to be okay. Inde indefinitely god is not going to linger us in the state otherwise we would become treacherous just like you surveilling a whole christian making like a demonic organization thinking you're spiders causing arachnophobia or something around a woman that has a severity of fear of spiders that's what you are trying to scare the living dads out of me but i know the bible and so because i know the bible i understand even what's going on with these wannabe christians that are out here taking my subscribers my viewers using sorcery thinking that they can give god a helping hand i recognize them for what they are hence you occult practitioners looking at me like i'm something for the taking one day you're gonna get to consume me like biltong like hard knock meat you are dreamers in the worst way i will disappear fast before your eyes literally at the blink of an eye at the blink of an eye at the twinkling of an eye i will disappear right wing while you're still salivating over a woman having a pornographic mindset trying to take a woman for a bride that does not belong to such a grubby man yeah while you are still hoping that the day is gonna come when i finally unwind finish off get run out of juice the day is going to finally arrive when I will disappear literally right in front of your eyes. But you will be stuck with all of those people that you left alone somehow. Somehow, strangely, even though they are Christians, you are leaving them be. Yeah, we all know why you're leaving them be. They don't bleep on your radar. And as for those Christians that are like that, if you are out here, of course, there's nobody watching my videos right now. If I could be in a position to warn them, I tell them, repent, you're doing a dumb thing. But I guess they'll find out the hard way. They'll watch this video and realize that that is why God left them behind. But then again, I do not know when the rapture is happening. I just don't. I don't. All I know is that I don't like to talk about the end because, like I said, my hope gets deferred and then my heart gets sick. It takes too long to happen. I don't know when it's happening. I can't lean on that. I have to hope for a husband. I have to hope for children. But at this rate, when? When? When am I going to get out of this? With me growing one little watch hour or a month? I mean, it's ridiculous. Anyway, whatever. Let's just let time tell. I'm signing out in Christ's name, Cranky. Bye.